I'm here with one of the women that I just enjoy talking to, Marlene Forte. I enjoy talking to you too. How many times have we done this now? <sighs> Three or four times. I know, not bad. Yeah, not bad. Not bad in the yeah. run of your, what, six years? <laughs> yeah. Look, I, I, I gave up. myself in. And, and, I, and I, I gave up going to see the Logan screen in this morning just to be here with you. No, you didn't. Yes, you should have re- Oh, sweetie, you could have rescheduled with me. Call uh, me. Eh, but anyway, I'll Logan, catch up. I have a friend of mine in Logan's too. <laughs> oh, Elizabeth really? Rodriguez. Oh, oh, my God. She's my dear friend. Too. Oh, my. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, she beat me out for that role. Oh. But it's okay. I only, I'm all right with people that beat me out of people that I like. If I don't like you and you beat me out, oh, that's when I stop. Her, and I get ulcers. No, mentira. No. Si hace muchos años pues también. Well, where you? Because you're on a couple of new shows. I, uh, you know. Uh, I am recurring on four shows right now. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I know two. So, uh, the, well, oh, you mean some of the older ones? Well, Fosters. The, the, the Fosters. Fosters okay. is still here. Yeah. I thought that was fifth not. season. I did fifth season, and I did an episode at the end of the year. Um, they called me out back, and you know, Tony Plan and I are always like, "Did they kill the old people off?" There? <laughs> but no, we're still in it. So you know, it's it, it gets peppered very very sparsely, uh, yeah, but it's yeah. I'm still there. Yeah, yeah I just I, I just saw. Uh, uh, I oh no I just went blank Sierra, Sierra. Sierra I just yeah. saw her uh, and recently granddaughter yes. second time yeah. I played her uh, grandma because uh, uh, I did it on uh, uh, American, American Teenager, Teenager. Yeah. oh my goodness so there's the Fosters which is still hanging <laughs> yeah. on uh, by a thread um, I just booked a recurring uh, with Tony again we are the little pocket rocket Latino couple we're playing America Ferrer's mom on Superstore. They just got the and third. Got uh, the third. <laughs> so I'm hoping to come back for that. Um, we did get hired with the, you know, yeah. the idea that it would be yeah. uh, recurring. And um, APB, APB, we just started. Uh, yes. Natalie Martinez, who is, you um, know, she's like the Sandra Bullock of Latinas. You know, she's super down to earth. She's one of the guys, but she's Cuban. And it's the first time that I'm playing Cuban on TV. Only uh, my friends Judy and George uh, hired me on Glow Ropes to play a Cuban Jew uh, in a movie <laughs> that they produce or whatever. But I have never, ever, ever played my own people. Congratulations. So, thank you. And it's funny because when I got on the set, uh, I didn't know Natalie. I knew her from her work and yeah. I, had already, I had already clocked her because she's a very good actress. Sure, yes. And I was like, who is that? So we get on set that day, the first day, and I say to her, hey, how much, is there a big Cuban community in Chicago? <laughs> And she goes, I don't know. And I go, how is it that this character is Cuban? She goes, honey, I play Cuban. <laughs> and I was like, well, God bless you because I, it's my first time. So I'm having a lot of fun with that. I'm, and they're letting me do a lot of Spanish, which I add in. Yes, so I'm doing my mom's Cubanisms. You know, yes, like a, yeah, you're you know. a little pushy. I ain't get a little, please. I, I saw this week's oh. episode. <laughs> That and then now Altered Carbon, which I um, shoot my first episode March 1st. I meet my daughter, I haven't met her yet. Uh, which is Mar- uh, yeah, she, who's also a really good young actress. Who there. I never met, who oh. I didn't know before this. So I am now, I am all, oh, I've YouTubed her. I <laughs> want to sound like her because this is the other thing because. Oh my God, sci-fi has been thrusted upon me. Yes. Right? So, um, I don't know if Walking Dead did that or maybe the little bit that I did on Star Wars. I don't know. I don't know where it started. But it's now been thrusted upon me. And um, so, I I thought in the future, am I going to have an accent? You know, I mean, how much? So, I, I, I think it's... I had to listen to her, and I said, "Okay, I need to sound like her." Well, because the the, the whole concept too of the show is is so it's like what set in the twenty first century and way the in the future, and we have gotten this crazy um, mind thing. You well, we have been, we've been able to capture our consciousness, our alma, which is my my character does not believe in this. I am Catholic. Tengo una vida y no pienso tener otra, and that's a quote. She's like, um, "This is not for me," you know. Um, so you have these religious codes. If you have a religious code, mm-hmm. which means basically you, if you are a person of faith, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter what your, your religion is, mm-hmm. you do not have to be um, resleeved, which oh, is okay. what it's called. Oh, okay. um, so, but if you, give, if you denounce your religious code, you can be resleeved. You can be resleeved by the police to find out what happened to you. So if you're murdered, think about that. If your consciousness 
to the moment that you die and you feel everything, your death, everything, till your moment that you die is captured in your cerebral cortex and it can be taken out and re-sleeved, the police can say, what happened to you? And you can tell them. Now you might look like a, you know, a little homie next time or I don't know, a tall blonde, you know, uh, Norwegian woman, but you, you're kind, you, there will be an altered carbon of you. Wow. So it is still you, it's just an altered carbon of you, right? It's crazy. It, deals, it, it, it comes is up crazy. With morality, how to, now there's no more jails, right? If, if you get killed, they just put you in this Thing. freezing tank, like, a, I, I, I don't know what it will look like. The wonderful thing is that my character um, does not believe in any of this, so she, I, I, I had a talk with the showrunner, and I said to her, you know, it's a woman showrunner, and I said to her, um, you know, this has been thrusted upon me. I'm going to start to read the uh, novels. I, I am not a, a sci-fi geek, although now I seem to have to be. From fear on, it's been out of control. So, uh, so she said to me, "Oh no, your character hates all this. It's perfect. You are a, a righteous, religious, Catholic woman. You don't believe in any of this stuff." And I was like, "Oh God, great. It's much easier for me." But um, but it's been interesting to, to, to read it and to, to think about a world like that. It, I mean, you come. It brings up. Excuse me. Not, not just. Uh, not. I mean, just more morals. And this is the other thing. It's a very expensive procedure, so only the very wealthy right can be resleeved. Oh, interesting. Um, it's it's it's. Mm -hmm. My character is funny. She has a good sense of humor. Um, also, I am not really. In the book, uh, my daughter Ortega is a, the lead, one of the leads in it, mm -hmm. and she, you hear about her family through her. Like mm -hmm. you hear about her family life, she talks about her family, but but Mama is actually not in it. Mm -hmm. So um, this is also this new, is and it frees up, I think, the writers too, because mm -hmm. then they can just you can the story and can I, grow. I'll tell you, she has a fantastic sense of humor. Mm -hmm. The other wonderful thing is that um, they're really going to go with the Spanish, so. They're going to subtitle. If I am speaking to my mother, to my daughter, or to anyone in my family, and there's no American speaker in the room, right. then we speak Spanish to each other, it's, which is very true to life. It I mean, really I, is. You know, i got to tell you, I grew up completely bilingual. I don't remember when I stopped. I don't remember which one came first. People ask me that. I said, I don't remember that. But um, the truth is, till, till today, when I am in my mother's house and there's nobody around that speaks English, we're not rude, we speak English because we can speak English. Yeah. But if we're alone, we speak Spanish to each other. So Or a combination, because you just go back Spanish and forth. Spanish can yeah. come out, but it's my mom and my, my mother, just in my particular house, my mother doesn't like to speak English. She just doesn't like it. My father I speak more Spanish to. My mother, my mother doesn't even watch me on English TV. <laughs> she doesn't. If it's not a... A commercial, or when I play William Levy's mama, and don't I see? Oh, all I see, I became famous. My little blink of an eye in that movie. That's the one she watched. I was like, really, mom? Um, but um, otherwise, she doesn't watch it. So it's very true to life. It's also a challenge for me because I have never acted in, it in Spanish completely. I did a play once, many, many moons ago in Jersey, called La Habana No Aguanta Más. Great title. Exactly. It was about crazy um, Cubans, and, the, and that was in Spanish. But then, even that is is a a challenge for me because I don't I don't think in Spanish. I think and dream in English. I, I think we go through that yeah. because I think when you we're younger, the pending like I mean, Spanish was my first language, and uh, it, and yeah, I, I you were young. Yeah. You were so young. <laughs> and right? then I then I realize now that I I dream when I do dream it's it's. It's in English yeah. Yeah. and in color. And in, yeah, yeah. <laughs> color. Yeah. Well, you know these these. Not HD. <laughs> <laughs> That's killing me. Growing old on camera in HD, I'm like, oh. Who's that woman? I think she looks like an ant. <laughs> Uh, it, it, well, what, the the, uh, the this uh, it's a Netflix show. Yes. Uh, and what is like time ten? For Netflix, excited about. Cool. That. And, and they have they have some really interesting shows. I mean, uh, most they of are the, knocking you, it out of the park. You right know, now. I mean, you you have like Amazon is a hit and miss, mm -hmm. but Netflix seems they're to. Not, I think they're knocking it out of the park. Yeah, I think they're really. going out of the mm -hmm. box. Yes. They are not yeah. afraid yeah. to put something up yeah, that. 
nobody has seen before. Yeah. You know, you start yeah. to look at network TV and everything mm -hmm. looks the same. Not only are they regurgitating a thousand forms of law and order and criminal minds and all that, that type of regurgitation, but yeah. just even the new procedurals, they kind of yeah. look the same. Yeah, it's um, just a different city. Like, yeah, just a different city. <laughs> a lot of Chicago right now, honey. Shot town's got it going on right now. I like APB a, a little bit different because um, it's That's got another the technology. futuristic kind of technology. Yeah, but you stuff. know, I yeah. want to tell you, all that te none of that technology is future. That all that technology that you see right there exists today. It's just expensive technology, and um, so it's none of it is is future, which is interesting. Because people are like, oh, all that technology, all of it exists well, today. I, I, yeah, you're you're right. I when I I misspoke when I said future because the thing is, like you said, it's expensive. It's expensive. It, we it, don't see it. Yeah. The most of the public doesn't see that unless you're in the military or in your that, and then you're there you aware go. of this type of stuff. Exactly. Uh, but otherwise, most of the people don't see it. Mm -hmm. I will point out one thing, and I, I keep saying this in my interviews because I am in awe and a little delighted about it, is that um, four shows and all of them have one or two, number two, at least the three, because Sierra's down there, but she is one of the leads, it's, it's a very large cast show, but um, all the other shows, one or two in the cast Natalie. is female Latina. Not only female, female Latina. Because we've had a lot of Latinos, you know, Danny Pino's been around for a while. We've had a lot of yeah. boys on the scene woven into the fabric of yeah. procedural TV. So female, female Latinas yes. with surnames like Martinez and Rodriguez and <laughs> Machado. And, I mean, come on. Oh, no, no. You see, I, you know, I, I, I don't want to like step on anybody's toes or anything like that, but uh, television, cable, uh, not only are we seeing more Latinos in these yes. shows, but like you said, females in the lead. And, 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 and up and, there uh, on yeah. the cast list, not number 12 or, or, or 10 that ends up getting killed or written out <laughs> the second or third They're around season. for a while. How are you doing that? I'm part of that crew. <laughs> <'Cause they laughs> you start in and then you just kind of peter, 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 peter. Yeah. No, because I had that conversation with Natalie uh, just uh, about a month ago. She's fabulous. Uh, oh, she is. She? Yeah, she, she I'm is. I so much fun with her. Yeah. The, uh, uh, I'll tell you after we're done, but we have a running joke between me and her. <laughs> no, no, tell me now. Tell me now. Tell me now. I love her. Well, well no, no there's, uh, there's, for some, there's another Natalie Morales. Oh, yes. And I don't know why. <laughs> I, I know she's Martinez, and I end up saying, not wow. anymore. And she reminded me, she would do that every time. I go, I know, I know, <laughs> she I know. Will remind you. <laughs> like, oh. um, I but she her. knows, she knows I know who she is. Yeah, she's of course. She's super, super down to earth. Yeah, she's amazing. just, um, I'm having so much fun. And I'm, and I'm blessed to have worked with the, the, the people that I'm working with. Okay. America is also <sighs> fantastic to get to work with her again. Because we, you know, I kind of was at the beginning of my my acting career when I did Real Women Have Oh, yeah, Curves. Real Women Have Curves. We auditioned. We were at the same room auditioning together. Now we didn't audition in that scene together mm -hmm. because I was actually auditioning to play her sister in, oh. in, by, at back then. Right. Um, Mrs. Glass was offered to me afterwards. Oh. Um, so I, I didn't get that part, but they offered me something else. But I remember being in the audition room with her and I met her mom, she was underage still. You know, she had to come over with the mom and I'm thinking, who is this young lady? She's amazing. She's gonna be a superstar. And now I think she should run for president. <laughs> you hear those speeches of hers? I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. So I, the, the, the young ladies that I'm working with, you know, I am like the proud TV mom. Look, my best production to date is still my daughter, Giselle Rodriguez, my girl. But the truth is that I have had um, a really nice run in the last 20 years. And I've worked with really, really wonderful people. Um, my daughters and my sons on television i'm still very proud of <laughs> well, well you know you don't you're even though you you know in playing these moms you're not the usual the typical type of a mom you know no. i mean you you each role that you've done as a mom has been very there's differences different personalities well, i, I mean, try to do that because i'd be mm. real bored if not <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but, but you know what i'm saying there there's yeah. some actors that Pretty yeah. much, it's the same role, you know. Well, it is the same role, um, you, you know, know you and, and they play niche. it exactly the exactly. same. Exactly, yeah. I, I tell young actors this: it is the same role. Find your niche, you know. And people are like, "Oh, I don't want to be typecast." I'm like, "Oh God!" So I'm so glad I've been typecast because 
<laughs> at least I'm working. Um, at least they know what to do with me now. Um, and and I, so the truth is that I have found my niche, right? I, I say I'm the mothers to the stars right now, which is, is great. And you're a badass. Thank you, thank you. But the truth is I'm still the mother to the lead. I mean, APB and Alter Carbon, the mother to the lead who's a cop. Yeah. Hey. Same, same role, but if I, didn't try to find some type of I would be really bored mm -hmm. and I think you know that's not all me you know yeah. I, I like to think that I bring some things to it but I think that mm -hmm. the writing has gotten better for these characters you know mm -hmm. in the beginning of my career I did a lot of weepy moms a lot of victims you know being in a, in a place of being victimized mm -hmm. and, and I, again I don't mind doing that because I know that that exists you look around and ooh, I just hit your bike <laughs> Make your hands. Um, so, but um, but uh, now these women are a bigger part of of the lives and the storylines, mm -hmm. and uh, even going back to Dallas, you know, even though it wasn't a lot, Carmen mm -hmm. was much more involved yeah. in the lives of these people yeah. than the housekeeper was the first time around. Oh, yeah, that was more shadowy. Yeah, kind of exactly. Person. So, you know, I think America has realized that. Surnames like Rodriguez and Machado Ortiz. and all Ortiz, <laughs> Gomez, Gonzalez, Morales, Martinez, all of us. We have a big part of our, we are America and we have money to spend. Yeah. And at the end of the day, that's a big part of advertising and the show and the world that I live in. So. Well, it's still early in the year. Uh, but have uh, theater planned for this year already? I do oh. actually. Um, well, we'll see. It was closer. Uh, my husband, who's a playwright, Oliver Mayer, is doing his sequel to Blade to the Heat called Members Only. And um, uh, Do uh, Coleman Domingo is uh, scheduled to direct it. God willing, that will still happen. Another nice guy. Amazing oh, guy. Amazing actor. Amazing director. And we're going to do that at LATC. Now, it was supposed to be scheduled for the fall of this year. And we might be doing it now in the spring. Mm -hmm. um, so that would bring it then till next year, 2018. But I uh, have been, I just joined the Urban Theater Movement and I became a member of them again. You know, every time I try to get out of the theater, they pull me back in. Um, the truth is I love it. I, I love uh, helping young actors and giving back. I became an actor through Labyrinth because I there was a company and people who knew more than me who taught me. I didn't have money for classes. I was a single mom, you know, my daughter was 10, I schlep and her with me to these classes, you know. <laughs> so, um, uh, I, it's important for community, you know, that type of theater community is my church. I am a recovering Catholic, I don't go to church anymore. So the theater is my church, you know, and my community and my giving back. So, uh, I've been watching these these young people, urban people, people mm -hmm. look that un, underrepresented, mm -hmm. Latinos, blacks, whites. Um, there's a lot of underrepresented people here. Um, it's become almost a class thing to me. Mm. It's interesting coming from another world. Yeah. Now we become a class. We're starting to become a class system. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm back in the theater, and my, and, and Oliver is writing a. Um, I just did Blood Match, which was yeah. an adaptation of Lorca's A uh, Blood Wedding. Yes. And Oliver now is doing an adaptation of Yerma, called Yerma in the Desert. Uh, we're doing it for Urban Theater Movement. So I might might have something to do there in the fall. It all depends, you know, I'm, I'm with this really crazy schedule, be, you my, know? I'm with the working of the TV and everything, my husband likes to say, I don't know if I'll be able to afford you soon. <laughs> and um, this year might not be a theater thing because of it, but, uh, but, but uh, the sequel to Blade, uh, members only at LATC yeah. in the spring of 2018 is for sure happening. Mm -hmm. So uh, 2017 might just be a TV year for me. Well, see, that's why I didn't want to change my schedule with you. For today. <laughs> I, go, I, I, I don't know. She yeah, might be, and I don't do that know. for everybody, but you got my cell phone, so you can always call me. <laughs> well, Marlene, muchas gracias, like always. Oh, this is you. this is wonderful. Thank you for watching over my career in the last six years. <laughs> hey, you know, we have to look out for each other. We do. Mm. Familia and support is very important. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you.